In this video we're going to introduce quadratic functions and we're also going to show you what they look like when we graph them. Basically a quadratic function has a variable with a power of 2 and if you're not sure what that means just look at the three examples below. You'll notice they have the variable x with a power of 2 each time. So when you graph these you get something known as a parabola. So I'll show you what that looks like by going into Desmos and I'll graph the three examples I just showed you. So the first one was x squared, y equals x to the power of 2. And you'll notice that our parabola is kind of like a U or V shaped graph. Alright, let's type in our next example that we had. It was y equals 3x squared or 3 times x to the power of 2 minus 2x plus 1. And you'll see that once again we've got this U or V shaped graph called a parabola. Our next quadratic function was y equals negative 5x squared, or x to the power of 2, plus 2x. And once again, we get this u or v-shaped graph, except this time it's upside down. No matter what your quadratic function looks like, it will always make this parabolic curve that we can see here. Now there's some terminology that I'd like to talk about when dealing with the parabola. So whenever you have a parabolic curve, you're always going to have something known as an axis of symmetry. And an axis of symmetry basically cuts our curve in half. Here we can see an axis of symmetry here. You'll notice that the parabola is symmetrical on each side of the axis of symmetry. We also have a point known as the turning point, or also known as the vertex. If I was to travel from left to right following my curve, you'll notice that the turning point seems to be a point at which the graph seems to change direction. It's starting by going down and then it turns and starts to go up. We also have some other things such as our x-intercepts, which is basically where the graph crosses the x-axis, and also our y-intercept, which is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Over here we've got what's called our minimum and our maximum. When our parabola is facing upwards, like we can see here, you'll notice we have what's called a minimum. It's called a minimum because the graph doesn't exist anywhere below that point. This is the minimum point. When our graph is facing downwards, like here on the right, we have what's called a maximum. The graph doesn't exist anywhere above the maximum. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing the quadratic function and the parabola. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.